Hey, what's up everybody? It's Felly here and welcome back to another episode on the channel and today we're gonna be playing, you guessed it, Blaze Realm. Myself some payback on where the case say I might just flip it, run the cash there. I got a cash there, yeah. Cause I got seven banks, empty thoughts, plenty. Too much in my mind, it's kinda heavy. I got seven trash, ready, China's with me. Way too many pieces, world well, ain't ready for I've been moving, I've been moving, I've been moving. You know what you doing, what you doing, what you doing. What you doing? I've been around it, then when I found it, I got groovy. Trippy trying to be an actor in the movies. Money in the bag is my future's exactly where I'm at. Ain't got time for trash talk, these goofies on their laptop. I'm chefing already, ain't no more bread or spaghetti. I'm on my greens, on my veggies, bro. On my health, I got plenty. I'm telling you, wake up, feeling light, but I'm changing it. My brain's all twisted like this, I'm rearranging it. SoundCloud paying me again, I'm going down, down, baby. What you need it, cause I got you any tone now. I got all connections everywhere, in every week. Thanks, empty thoughts, plenty. Too much in my mind, it's kinda heavy. I got seven trash, ready, China's with me. Way too many kisses, world ain't ready for the baby. Welcome, welcome everybody. If you're new here or if you maybe just like forgot that I existed since I haven't uploaded in 52 days, I actually just checked. 52 days since my last upload. My name is Feli. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you're new. So before we start, I, uh, I just want to talk about a conversation I had with someone the other day when I hopped on here. They said that they liked my channel because I showed what Psycho was actually like, the real Psycho. And I just appreciated that. Like, I try my best to make some realistic content, like how the, how the factions experience actually works. And I'm hoping to just bring more of that this season. But now that we got that out of the way, I believe it's time to go ahead and start the episode. Now I do have a little bit of a base prepared. I started to grind it as you saw in the beginning. I've done a bit of work on it. I didn't really want to show you guys everything that I did just because it gets boring after a while. But we got a couple chests set up, got a couple kits in here. Because I did start a little bit later than the reboot. So it happened Friday night, and I didn't really start playing until Saturday. I didn't actually start on making the cactus in here until last night. And I grinded out, I'm pretty sure it's a full chunk, because it gets up to 64 pretty consistently, but every now and then it doesn't quite get that much. And we do have 11 hoppers, which is a pretty good start. We can go ahead and slash sell chest, make us another 7,000. We can actually go to shop and buy two more hoppers. But I think I might just buy one hopper, just because I want to save some money for base building supplies. Because if I do slash grace period, we only have 40 minutes until TNT is enabled, and I have no idea if anyone's found my base. But if they have, I definitely need more walls. But I only have this base wall plus the one on the other side, so we really are lacking in walls. And we gotta get a lot more of those so people don't raid us. Now obviously people aren't gonna have that much TNT, but even still, pretty soon people are gonna have more. And I do actually have four raids, because I've been trying to prepare for content. I really want to actually have a good run this season. And I have four raids prepared, and I don't think I'll be able to do any in this episode just because I only have a little bit of money and I don't really have cannon supplies. I do have kit cannon, so I'm pretty sure I have. So if we just lay out all the TNT I have. So this is how much TNT we have. That's definitely not enough to raid a base. But it's a start, so we're, we're going to work with that. And I'll be able to buy some more soon and hopefully get more from kits when I can do those because I also have the kits on my alt. Yeah, like I said, we have 40 minutes until TNT gets released, so we got to start grinding all these walls. And I believe we'll start another cactus farm soon just because we want to make even more money. But I think right now the walls are going to be a first priority. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Thank you. 
Alright, those are all the gin buckets I have on me. This is actually coming along pretty well. I think I can get rid of this. It was just being annoying because the water was flowing down. I mean, we need water in there eventually. But it was just getting annoying, so I was trying to gin the walls. Alright, let's go back in and check on the cactus. Hopefully this will sell for a decent amount again. So I should sell the chest. Another 8,000. We got 44,000 right now. Not too bad. I don't know how much TNT that's going to buy us. I don't know how much an inventory costs. I think it's like 100 TNT, 100 per TNT, something like that. I'm trying to think of one of the raids that I have. I think one of them may only have a couple walls, so we might have to try that next episode. But in the meantime, I'm going to go crank out some more walls and get back to you guys once we made some progress. Alright guys, if I do slash grace period, the countdown has officially finished and TNT is live. So it's a good thing we got up these walls in time. Now, I have no idea if anyone's found my base or anything. But if they did, we would definitely want to have more on here. And I believe we should be all good. I don't think we're segable. But there is one thing that I do want to change. I want to add in a little bit of a glitch layer kind of right under here. So I'm going to go ahead and place all these blocks down. It is going to stop up the water, so I will have to go around and place water underneath, will be, which will be a bit of a pain, but it's definitely going to be worth it in the long run because then people can't fireball my chest, and they also can't, like, sag or glitch into the base. Another thing that was brought to my attention is our base can actually be one stacked right now, so I'm going to have to save up for some annihilation cores and hopefully just trench the rest of those and then gen walls down there just to discourage people from doing that, which would, like, they'd pretty much be able to go past my walls insanely fast. And all this work would be for nothing. But I'm going to go ahead and finish up this glitch layer. Then we're going to water all the other walls. And then we'll be good to go. But then after that, probably just move on to doing cactus. Because after this, all we need to do is just make some money so we can actually buy annihilation cores. And then after that, we're going to spend money on TNT and hopefully get a raid for next episode. And there we go. We now have this glitch layer that should protect us from any sort of fireballers or glitches that try and get into our base. We just try and be annoying and like destroy our chest from the outside. So this should add an extra layer of protection. And I think we should be, and I think we're all good. I might have checked down there just to make sure it's all watered. But I think apart from that, our base is looking nice and secure. Now all we need to do is just water the rest of these walls, destroy all this netherrack, which is lagging me a lot. And then we'll probably gen a couple more walls and our base should be decently protected. All right, that's taken a little bit longer than expected, but we have finally finished watering all of the walls. And now I can go through, go ahead and break all of this. And then I guess I'll try and sell cactus again. We have 80,000 right now, which is not too bad, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. But here's the thing, guys. I'm debating between saving up for the chunk busters just so I can actually make a decent base, or if I want to try and invest in TNT and do a raid. Because I do have a couple lined up that I could do probably next episode. So I'm thinking I might just do that for now because I could make a decent profit from that. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll probably spend it on TNT for a raid, and then I'll focus on the chunk busters later. But I'm pretty proud of the progress we have right now. We obviously started a couple days late. To the server so we're a bit behind not too bad we're starting to catch up a little bit and we're starting to get a decent amount of hoppers so we're actually making some good money from that but i think i'm going to hold off on buying more just for a little bit so i can actually start investing in tnt and stuff all right and just like that our base is all watered all good to go we currently have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven walls one being the base wall of course but i believe no one can seg into our base i'm hoping not because if so that would kind of be embarrassing that would suck, we have to start all over, but I think we're pretty much all set. So I'm going to go back inside the base, sell the cactus again. There we go, another 20,000, not too bad. So we are now, we have now broken the 100,000 mark, so we're, we're getting a little bit more money towards cannon supplies. We do have kit cannons, so I have a couple stacks like dispensers and stuff, like redstone and all that. But still, it's going to be tough to get everything we need, and I will probably check on the raids later. But I don't think I'm going to be doing anything this episode with them. Another thing that I could do is buy some heads off of AH, some pig heads, because we do need a bit of those to level up. I don't really think it's worth it to buy a whole spawner just for a couple of heads. If I do slash rank up, we only, yeah, we only need like five stacks worth, so I might just buy them off of AH. These are a thousand a stack. Might as well just buy all these. Bam. That should give us 100% slash rank up. I don't know why the bar doesn't fill up, but... We are done with it. Now we're on to Wolf and Ocelot heads. I don't know if we want to buy these off of the age. If there are some for pretty cheap, we will. But if not, I mean, there's a couple right there. Oh, for seven each? Might just have to get these. I don't know how many we need. Oh, we're already at, that's already enough. Slash rank up. Now, this is starting to cost a little bit of money, and I don't really want to spend too much. I kind of want to save it for TNT in terms of level. So starting with level three, we might actually just buy a spawner. Though there are some for 18 each. We might just do one more, but not actually level up, just because we probably don't want to spend that money right now. But we do need, we only need 10 stacks, so I think it might be worth it just to buy these. Bam. We're not 100% of level 3, but I don't think we want to spend, what is it, 14,000? Yeah, I don't think it'd be worth it right now. We're already down to 71,000. We just had 100,000. But I'm going to continuously sell Cactus and just AFK it for a little bit more. And hopefully we can do a raid next episode. That's, that's probably my main goal. And then after that, I want to save up for the chunk busters so we can actually trench the bottom of our base and i think i've 
pretty much just got to grind out some more cactus off camera. And I think that's really everything, guys. But I think that's going to do it for today's episode, so thank you guys for tuning in. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded, almost two months now. And if you guys stuck around this whole time, uh, really much appreciated. And also for all the new people that are here, welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy. But I think that's pretty much all we can do. I'm excited for the season. I'm not really sure what we're going to do in terms of the faction. If we're going to get some of you guys in the faction or if I have some other friends from the server that I'll get in. I really don't know where we'll go with this. But for now, it's just me and my alts trying to survive out against the rest of the server. But like I mentioned earlier in the episode, this is this is the real psycho, man. This isn't any like sugar-coated version or like TPing to people and like finding their finding their bases at quotation marks. You know, this is the real deal. And I hope to bring that to you guys all season, so hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. But I think we're gonna have to end off this episode there. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. For more factions, it'll really help me out. Uh, it makes me feel good, you know, it makes me motivated to upload more. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.